Robinson. So here is a quick update of where we are on the Gambler, which is our 1940 Ford no prep drag truck. Basically, this guy just drives this truck around on the street looking for drag races, you know, illegal drag races, underground drag races on the street. And, um, you know, that's how he makes his money. So we've let the duplicolor gas out and cure before we you know handled it i really love the finish that is um the way i really love the way this um turned out as far as a you know flat uh dry, drag truck this is great we decided to um go with some some green here and there on the truck. I think that is a good contrast between the the red. Done a little. Um, I've I kind of found this in the parts, uh, part, the parts box. Did a little um, black wash on this grillage there. So I had to, I didn't really have that many parts to this truck when I started this project. So I'm really having to source a lot of parts for it. And also, um, you know, having to scratch build, which I love that. But obviously that's going to make the project take a little longer. So, I found these um, Gambler um, decals in an old Sprint, a monogram Sprint car. And they're like 20 year old uh, decals. And of course, they didn't work. This one right here was the best one that actually stuck on. <laughs> but I'm going to have to peel it off because it's just not what I was looking for. I did make glass since the last time um, made made some uh, got the rear glass in there and um, got the uh, windshield and of course we got the doors so all the glass is made. I've been started working on the interior. I'm having to make this. Um, I didn't have no floor plan. So having to scratch build. Me. Uh, um, interior kind of. I decided to go ahead and scratch build me a uh, um, racing seat. So. That's pretty. Uh. Pretty cool. So we're kind of gonna, you know, do something like that. Painted the firewall green as well. Not too sure what I'm doing with the bed. Right now, I mean, it kind of, it, it, the, the kit came with kind of like a simulated wood grain with the stainless steel on it. But I've, what I've done so far is pretty much cut me out a pattern. Um, I don't know if I'm going to get real wood planks and just kind of cut the strips off in there. Or if I'm going to just maybe get like a sheet of aluminum or something and just cut it out and stick it down in there. I mean, it is a race truck, you know. But I know I didn't dig 
the um, the inside door panel deal. So I am gonna. I mean, I did source some sheets of aluminum. I'm gonna cut them and slide them in the door panel. So that's kind of like a racing um, deal, as far as that goes. I am thinking about maybe making like some kind of custom tunnel race cover with some sheets. Maybe throw like a fuel cell back up in there with this. Um, I did source a Cobra engine, Ford Cobra engine. So that's the um, the engine I'm gonna be putting up in there. I'm gonna have to probably scratch build a lot of um, intakes and um, injectors and all that type of stuff. I did put the uh, I did throw some blue lens headlights in there see that so it looks like uh, you know for the overall most part it is coming along the gambler is definitely coming along here enjoying this build thoroughly man I love this body style guys So go ahead and smash that bell if you want updates on the Gambler. And uh, subscribe, comment. I love that seat in there, guys. That is a beautiful scratch-built racing seat. Custom made just for the Gambler. I have not decided on my wheel selection yet. But... I've definitely been toying around with the ideal of scratch building a set of one-off uh, wheels and rims for this particular project. One funny thing about scratch building is, I mean, I love scratch building, but what I've noticed over the years is, you know, Sometimes I have the tendency to try to scratch build like every part and um, On a project like this I understand you don't have certain parts there to begin with so you got to either create them or, or, or find them but uh What's going on with my uh, My focus here So anyway you know, you tend to want to scratch build every part, and uh, scratch building takes so long, and that's why projects, you know, take so long to get to the band, you know, get to the channel because, you know, it's it's obviously, you know, if you were just putting a part on a, on a model, it'd be done, you know, <laughs> so simple. But you know, when you're actually having to source parts or make parts or fabricate design parts you know these projects can um, seem like you know they can be on the bench a while which I don't mind I'm, I'm totally thoroughly enjoying this particular build I love the 40 Ford um, I love the 40 Ford line uh, body style and the curves and uh, I've been wanting to build this truck for a long time so to be able to actually um you know get one even though it was just kind of like a you know pretty much like a parts truck when i got it i'm really going to turn it into something really nice i do believe so i love the way the glass turned out um i love the uh, cobra engine that i'm going to drop in it and um, like I say, really thinking about scratch building a set of uh, wheels to set this uh, drag truck off. So, like I say, if you guys, uh, this is gonna, this is pretty much my update on this on this build. This is where we are, 
a Gambler, 1940 Ford, no prep drag truck. And we are continuing to just uh, chug along. So, like I say, guys, comment, rate, subscribe. And um, peace, love, and happiness to all. Modernize 72 over and